Hello everybody, it's Bokyuk, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to download and install the Replay mod for Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.1. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to actually go ahead and download Fabric right here. Um, there are going to be four links in the video description. This is the first one. So, once you're here, you want to click where it says Download Universal Jar, and the Fabric Installer will go ahead and download for you. Um, so, now that it's downloaded, we can click this little arrow and then click on where it says open and uh, what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and actually launch the fabric installer now what you want to do is make sure that 1.20.1 is selected right here and then click on where it says install and then it'll go ahead and load for a few seconds and then it'll say the fabric is installed so we can click ok and close out of the installer uh, the next thing you want to do is go over to the second link that's going to be fabric api um, right here, if we click in this very top one, as of right now, it's for 1.20.1. So, um, if we go ahead and just click on that, then we can click on this download button, and it will go ahead and download um, our fabric file for us right here. So, there we go. It's going to go ahead and download. Um, and while we wait for Fabric API to finish downloading, what we're going to do is head over to the third link in the video description. That's going to be where we can download FFmpeg. Uh, in case you don't know what FFmpeg is, it's basically like a mod that works with the Replay mod. And it allows you to actually save the videos that you make with the Replay mod. So we're going to just click in this link right here. Um, and once again... If you click in the links in the description, it'll take you right off to this website. You may have to scroll down a little bit because it's going to be at the help page. So it'll show like this video at the top here and you may have to scroll down. Um, but if you click right here where it says 1.2 installing FFmpeg, that will take you straight off to this section right here. Um, FFmpeg is a relatively larger file, so it will likely take a few minutes to download. But while we wait for that to finish downloading, we can go to the final link in the video description and that is the link to none other than the replay mod itself so once you're here in the replay mod you have the version that says minecraft 1.20.1 you want to go ahead and click on this green download button and uh, what that's going to do is it's just going to go ahead and actually download the replay mod and once again it will likely also take a few minutes or seconds or whatever for the replay mod to download Alright, wait, so now as you can see, we have all three files downloaded here. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to take the FFmpeg file and um, we're going to click on the little arrow next to that one. And then we're going to click where it says show in folder. This is going to open up our downloads folder where you can see that we have FFmpeg selected. Now, if we minimize out of Google and uh, go back to our desktop here, what we're going to do is just, um, just drag and drop this from the downloads folder straight to our desktop there we go um and we're gonna leave this downloads folder open for right now we're just gonna minimize it because we're gonna need it again later but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this ffmpeg folder here and we're gonna click where it says extract all and then we're gonna click on where it says extract and it's gonna go ahead and um extract the file all right, and there we go. Now, as you can see, we have the FFmpeg um, as an extracted file right here. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to back to our uh, downloads folder here, where we have the Fabric API and the Replay mod that we still need to uh, put everything in the right spot. So we can actually minimize out of these folders for now, uh, both of these folders. We're, we are going to need them both later. And the next thing we're going to do is open up the search bar on your computer, and you're going to type in percentage app data percentage, and then you're going to click on the little file folder that pops up right here. Now we're going to click where it says dot .minecraft. All right, so we're just going to click on that. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up the FFmpeg folder right here so this is the ffmpeg extracted file oh, i made it way too big there we go um and we're just going to drag and drop this from the extracted file straight into our dot minecraft folder here so you're just gonna you're just gonna select it and i'm i'm clicking it too much you're just gonna drag and drop it into the dot minecraft folder and as you can see it will say ffmpeg 6.0 essentials build as one of the files inside of your .minecraft folder. Now what we can do is we can actually close out of this FFmpeg uh, folder right here and we can also 
just uh, temporarily minimize this, and we're going to delete these that are on our desktop here, because we don't need either one of these. There we go. Uh, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our .minecraft folder, and uh, this time, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our mods folder. Now, if you've never downloaded a mod before, you're not going to have a mods folder, so you can just create a new folder by uh, right-clicking, then you're going to click new folder, and you're going to name it mods. So, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, right like that. Um, says we don't want to, we don't want to do that. There we go. So, we'll just delete this since we already have a mods folder. Um, but that said, what's only for people without a mods folder. If you already have a mods folder, you're good to go. You can just double click on this, and it will show any mods that you have right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop... Um, the Fabric API and their replay mod, so you can just shift, oh my gosh, you can just shift and then uh, click both of them to select them both at the same time, and we're just going to drag and drop them. For some reason, I can't seem to click the right buttons today, but there we go. Uh, so now as you can see, we have the replay mod and we have Fabric API inside of our mods folder. These other mods are not required, um, you don't need to worry about those. But anyways, we can just go ahead and now close out of everything completely. So you can close out of everything. Even Google, you can close out of that. Um, there we go. And now we are back at our desktop. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just launch Minecraft. And then right here uh, on the launcher, you're going to see where it says Fabric Loader 1.20.1. You want to go ahead and click play. And then uh, Fabric is going to load up for you with the replay mod installed. Everybody, and here we go. So Minecraft is loaded up. If you look at the bottom left corner, it's going to say Minecraft 1.20.1 Fabric Modded. And there's also a new feature. If you look at the homepage, right next to where it says Minecraft Realms, you have the replay viewer feature where you can see all of your replay recordings. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do in order to download and install the replay mod. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to actually use the replay mod in 1.20, then go ahead and uh, let me know down in the comment section if you would like that. But anyways, I hope that you were able to successfully download the mod. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.